Uh, Meituan is a large-scale technology company in China that operates many web-related applications, such as delivery, hotel, and traveling services. Our sampling test showed that 92.8% of the applications had the Pearson correlation coefficient greater than 0.8 for their copious data over two consecutive weeks. Uh, we have two goals in managing the auto-scaling of online web application containers. The first is accurate workload prediction. Since the startup of many application instances requires several minutes of warm-up time, reactive scaling can temporarily degrade QoS when the new instances are not available, so the workload prediction is necessary. Uh, the second is to ensure quality of service and uh, to optimize resource costs, as they are linked to the revenue of the enterprise. We analyze the current prediction algorithms using real application workload data within our enterprise. The results indicate that there is no single algorithm capable of consistently providing optimal predictive performance for all categories of time series data. For example, as shown in figures A and B, two prediction algorithms, patch TST and the seasonal index, have their respective strengths and weaknesses. Additionally, we found that online methods, uh, which predict a short period in real time, although accurate on average, uh, struggle to handle with sudden workload changes which we call mutation features. This is exemplified by the lag issue depicted within the circle in figure C. On the other hand, offline approaches that, capture, that predict a longer period at one time can capture mutation features, uh, but suffer from significant amplitude deviations, as the figure D shows. We also tested existing auto scaling methods. Uh, the commonly used methods in the industry include uh, threshold-based rules, target tracking, and queuing theory. AI models such as reinforcement learning are rarely used because they may engage in behaviors that validate QS, which is unacceptable to application owners. Uh, we tested the three common auto scaling methods using a typical backend service and found that they were not effective in guaranteeing QS, especially when it came to tail latency. As the table shows, uh, when the QS is about TP999 response time, the best performing Q theory had a QS guarantee rate of only 80%. Uh, to address these issues, we propose PASS, a predictive auto scaling system tailored for large scale online web applications. The overall framework of PASS is elucidated in the figure. The, uh, uh, the black lines represents the offline operations, where the workload prediction component involves the training and the selection of submodels, uh, which are then integrated into the model used online. And the performance model table is generated based on historical logs. The portrait table maintains the max QPath that can be handled by the current number of instances without violating QoS. The lower half of the figure, indicated by the red lines, represents online operations. First, the QPS is predicted for a short period in real time. Then, the performance model table is queried to carry out predictive scaling. If the monitoring system detects a QS violation, such as an unexpected event that leads to inaccurate prediction, a correlation formula is applied to reverse QPS, which is then used to requery the performance model and to scale the resources accordingly. A PASS workload prediction algorithm, ELPA, which is based on ensemble learning, consists of three steps. The first step involves the selection of the optimal online prediction model. We test several online prediction models using the application's recent workload data. The model that provides the best performance is chosen as the base. The second step addresses the lag problem of online models. We identify sudden workload increases by monitoring the slope of the load curve. When it exists a certain threshold, it indicates a surge. For the surge period, we employ offline model to make predictions. However, offline model has amplitude deviations. So in the third step, we do an amplitude calibration, multiply the predicted value by a factor that is based on the difference between the true value and the predicted value in the past more period time. We use algorithm 1 to identify the number of instances to max QPS mapping based on historical logs. In length 1 to 9, we aggregate the number of instances and uh, count the QS validation uh, for each QPS. The function in line 10 evaluates the QS guarantee rate. After that, 
the max QPS with the QS guaranteeing rate above a certain threshold is deemed the max traffic that can be handled by the current number of instances. Uh, the cap in lines 4 and 21 is used to reduce the number of QPS case and the, the computational overhead. Uh, the model obtained directly uh, from the logs may have abnormal entries. Uh, for example, data for certain instance counts might be missing, or the data uh, of high instance numbers are very few, resulting in lower QPS than that of low instance numbers. Uh, we handle these abnormal entries in two steps. For instance, uh, an initial mapping might be 530, uh, 720, 860. After guaranteeing monotonic non decrease, uh, we get 530, 630, 730, 860. Uh, then, for the horizontal line of 5 to 7, we substitute it with the linear segment from 5 to 8 and get the final mapping of 530, 640, 750, 860. Uh, additionally, to maintain accuracy, we update the performance model every night during the off-peak uh, hours uh, using the most recent logs from the day. Uh, algorithm, two, algorithm 2 demonstrates a hybrid auto scaling uh, pass. The predictive scaling is simply based on ERPA's prediction and the uh, performance model. Uh, if QS violations are detected, pass reverses the QPS based on MM's Q theory uh, and uh, requires the performance model for reactive scaling. The Q theory is used here because in the previous motivation experiment, we found that uh, the response time calculated by the Q theory is lower than the true value, leading to QS violations. Consequently, when we calculate the QPS based on the current response time, it tends to be higher than the true value. Uh, using this slightly inflated uh, QPS uh, to require the performance model, we aim to respond swiftly to QS violations. Uh, although there may be some results redundancy, uh, our subsequent experiment shows that the additional resource cost is quite minimal. Uh, we conduct the uh, experiments on real systems in our enterprise. Uh, the uh, prediction accuracy of ERPA is shown in the table. <coughs> the test data are 225 services randomly selected from our various business lines. Uh, we compared ERPA against SOTA online and uh, offline models. There are two metrics. One is the average prediction accuracy, uh, where a smaller RSC is better and a larger core is better. The other is the winner rate, which shows the proportion of cases where a method outperforms others within the current data set. Uh, the, the results show that across all data sets, uh, ERPA outperforms individual prediction algorithms, achieving the highest prediction results and the best winner rate. Uh, ERPA also demonstrates excellent robustness. Uh, this figure presents an example of workload data uh, from a representative application. Uh, in figure A, also online models uh, shows high prediction accuracy in most the cases. Uh, it exhibits a noticeable lag issue in the burst interval marked with a circle. Figure B shows that offline model can predict sudden load increases promptly, but there is a clear discrepancy between the prediction results and the actual data. In figure C, by integrating both online and offline models and applying amplitude calibration, ELP showcases remarkable prediction accuracy and robustness. We also conducted end-to-end -end tests on real services. Uh, this table presents the QS guaranteeing rates and the resource cost of pass across six test scenarios with uh, uh, different QS and uh, durations. Uh, the baselines are target tracking and uh, HPA, which is Alibaba's predictive auto scaling system presented at uh, AAAI 2023. Uh, the results show that uh, pass has a significant advantage in uh, QS guarantee rate, especially in scenario 6 of multiple QS indicators. The QS guarantee rate of pass has increased by about 20% compared to the baselines. Uh, pass also has, also has the lowest average resource cost in all scenarios. Uh, this indicates the performance model of pass is accurate and uh, effective. Uh, in conclusion, we propose PASS, a predictive auto scaling system for large scale enterprise web applications, which includes acute and uh, timely workload prediction and uh, log based performance model without affecting online applications. 
the experience, the experiments on real systems in our enterprise show that uh, pass outperforms uh, SOTA prediction algorithms and uh, auto scaling methods. Uh, furthermore, we plan to open source some applications' real traffic data as a benchmark for prediction algorithms in the future. Thank you.